I don't know what's going on. It's supposed to be, um, okay, I think we're live. I think we're live. I don't know. <laughs> yes, we are. Perfect. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm still working out all these uh, Facebook lives and all this other kind of stuff. But um, and today I wanted to talk to you about magical health. And I think it's really funny because I've had my first physical today and it's been a really long time since I've been to the doctors. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna break it down why health is so vital to our life and success and things like that. So. I hope that you understand. I mean, I try to break things super down, super easy, so that way uh, everybody can understand. But so today I had my physical. And it's been a really long time, right? And so since watching and going through everybody else's struggles all these years, you know, after my stepmom passed away and stuff, and during that whole time, not only did we practice our personal development, but we also learned a lot about our health. And so it really reminded me when she passed away that there's nobody else in my family that's going to really take charge of their own health. So we need to start by setting the example. So I started drinking a lot more of my Kangen water, you know, my antioxidant water. Um, I hooked up my Anespa for my shower, so any of the chlorine that, you know, comes out of the shower, you know, doesn't hit our skin and stuff like that. I definitely tried to cut out a lot of the meat, um, but my family still <laughs> likes to eat it. I definitely love my tacos, though. Like, that's going to be so hard. I'm trying to go more plant-based and stuff, but I'm definitely human. I have my faults, and so it's not an easy process. As long as you take the little steps towards change, you know, that's when things will kind of start to work for you and get easier and stuff like that, right? So anyways, I had my doctors today and I went in there, everything's super good. I'm like, okay, perfect. And then so next week, you know, you got the woman one and then you got the I one and all this other stuff, right? But I'm going to tell you a reason why I haven't been to the doctors. Not only because everything else that was going on in our lives with my family and my stepmom passing, you know, um, I had an ab abnormal pap smear one year and I don't even remember what it was, what the lady told me, whatever. And so we ended up going in there and they had scraped like with this electric thing or whatever. And I don't even remember what it was. And I kind of blocked it and put it out of my mind. So I know there's a whole bunch of people out there that have had some kind of thing where they blocked it, put it out their mind. It's just like, whatever, out of sight, out of mind. It doesn't matter. It didn't happen. Maybe it's gone, whatever, right? So now that everything is calm, chilling out, you know, um, and I've learned a lot about our health, I started putting it into practice. So I started working out 10 minutes a day, which I've been slacking on too. It's the holidays, but I'm trying. I started that again. Um, so anyways, I started trying to change our diet and things like that, you know, more acai bowls. Oh my gosh, those are like our whole family's favorite though. And, but the only bad thing is that they're expensive out here. So we got to try to make our own. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty fun. So anyways, I realized that taking our health for granted is like the number one thing we do every single day. And how many have finally taking action when it's too late or when they're sick, right? Um, we start taking action when we've already lost our health and things like that. And, and honestly, that's not a way to live. So I started to take action because I now have custody of my sister. So I don't want nothing to happen to me or my husband and have her go through something as emotional as, you know, losing us, right? Because of stupid choices that we made. And I mean, I used to eat bad. I smoked cigarettes. I drank. I freaking ate so shitty because when you're work working right you're always on the go you get what's convenient things like that <laughs> you know how many construction workers are in the um <clears throat> gas stations like it's the market i mean come on because my husband's one of them so um 
yeah, we take our health for granted every single day. Okay, and we usually don't do anything until it's too late. And if you take a look, for example, right now, December, this time of year, everybody gets sick. <laughs> There's that nasal outbreak going on right now, right? And when you get sick, the only thing that you want to happen is for yourself to get better, right? So you can start functioning again and doing the normal stuff. So even something as little as the flu can take you down, right? So we got to remember that take that break, take that moment, and just be super thankful for your health, okay? Because after my doctor's appointment today, everything was good. You know, I got to go do my other checkups, whatever. Um, I went to go visit a friend. And this friend was one of my mom's friends, and he's helped us with our house and stuff like that. But something's just been telling me, like, you got to, like, reach out to this guy, go visit him. So I stopped a couple times. I didn't get any answer at his door. And then I finally got a hold of him today. I sent an email. I say, hey, I, for I lost your number. Because, you know, when you switch over to phones, that Google shit doesn't always transfer. So I got his phone number, and I called him today. And he had a caregiver that answered his phone. And he's in hospice care. And that whole overwhelming feeling of the same shit that my mom went through kind of hurt me. Like I started crying after, like, I'm going to cry right now, but I'm going to try to get through it. So, <laughs> so it made me think like, shit, he's all alone. He doesn't really have any family out here. And the, the nurse was like, thank you, you know, for coming and visiting him. And I'm just like, wow. Like I had no idea. I had no idea that he was sick. And so I'm going to definitely make it my priority to go and see him. But still, like, it doesn't mean that you're not grateful if you get sick and stuff like that, right? Um, be more grateful. Be grateful like you're still here, you know, that you can push through it. You can make better decisions towards a better healthy life. And not only that, if you don't appreciate your body, you're not going to be able to learn how to receive things okay and i'm going to talk a little bit about that it's kind of like weird but so giving thanks is super vital to receiving okay so let me say that again giving thanks is super vital to receiving so if you want to receive better health you need to be thankful and grateful for the health that you have now do you have your feet that you can still use to walk do you have your hands that you can use to write? Do you have your eyes that you can see? You know, are you well off? You know, most of the days nowadays, we just run around in our car and just like, get out the way. I need to go to work. I need to do this. And we don't care about nothing or nobody else, not even ourselves. Okay. So the stress of life, the stuff in the air, I mean, come on, everything is just so toxic and it creates all the inflammation in our body. So that inflammation, the acidosis, all of that is bottom line what causes disease, okay? And it doesn't help if we're going, running around stressed like a chicken with our head, right? No head. So I just wanted to kind of break down how the, the health is beneficial in order to receive. So be grateful to receive better health and in turn you're going to learn how to do all kinds of other stuff with your life right you're going to be successful you know set the intention for success and all this other stuff but don't let it be too late before you take action because even that little bit of action is going to direct you in to where you need to go you know most people think that this little action isn't going to do anything for me but it will it'll take you to where you need to go and just follow your intuition, follow that little voice in your head, ask it, what do I need to do today to be a little bit more healthier? Maybe cut out the soda. Okay. It takes 32 cups of Kanye water to reverse one sip of soda. Okay. And I used to drink Pepsi every day with my stepmom every day in the morning. Boom. That was the coffee, that and a cigarette. I mean, if I can change that bad habit and just quit my cigarettes like that, because I knew when the time was right, like my lungs couldn't handle it anymore. I was just done. So listen to your body, take action, be grateful for it. In turn, it'll help you receive 
which is a whole nother part of um, being able to manifest and stuff. So being able to receive is a whole different section, you guys. So if you haven't seen my video on that, please go back to that. It's super helpful. It'll help you guys understand what I'm talking about. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys understood and it was easy for you guys to, you know, hear what I had to say. And thanks for letting me share. If you know anybody that needs to hear this, please tag them um, or share the video. And I will see you guys later. Let me see if I know how to turn this thing off. <laughs> okay, bye guys.